What's up, boys and girls? This is Set to 407 7th, and welcome back to another episode of Deus Ex, the Human Revolution. This is part four. We just let Zeke Sanders go, but we also saved Thorpe, the hostage, so uh, we got the maximum amount of XP that we could have gotten. Uh, of course, we're breaking the bad news to her that all the other hostages ended up dying because we were incompetent. But definitely try to save those hostages, you know, in, the, in your playthrough, because it'll, def it'll give you some XP. Okay, so now, of course, you can pick up the pocket secretary that's in this room, and you can either hack the computer of Thorpe's, or you can use the password. I recommend hacking it, because it gives you experience points. If you don't hack it, and you just use the password, well, you won't get those experience points. Now, will ya? All right, but after that, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our office. Yes, Jensen has an office. All right, we're going to go there, and we're going to check our email, and we'll be able to log on the computer because there's a pocket secretary sitting right there telling us a new password. No, you can't hack your own computer yet, or, well, you can't do it at all. You can't hack it because you probably don't have level 2 security, and I think he might even have a higher one than that. It might even be level 3 or something. Anyways, right here, that music reminded me of Blade Runner for the PC for some reason. But anyways, actually, before we even go to our office... We're going to go in through these doors over here. The lower level over here. All right. And what we're going to do is... Ah, no, not upstairs. We're going to go through this vent. We're going to pick up some credits. Because we're going to climb down this ladder and find this stuff. And we also pick up another pocket secretary. And we also see a... Looks like a hidden stash of neuropazine. Okay. Of course, you can't pick that up. But... That's part of the paper trace or paper trail that we're going to be following, going from room to room and everything, checking our emails, checking the emails, breaking into rooms, using codes and stuff throughout Seraph's building, okay? And once we get all that done, then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the main quest just so we can see Seraph, okay? And after we talk to him and we talk to the secretary outside his office, when we get back on the elevator to come back down, we're going to be paged back to our office and we're going to talk to a man named Carrera and that is what's going to, we're going to be able to start our first side quest, okay? And yeah, so it's going to be fun. We're going to do a side quest. Okay, so we get back in the elevator, we're going to go up to the penthouse, talk to Seraph. Answer some questions, and, you know, explain why the hell we let Zeke Sanders go. But we know what the hell we're doing, right? I mean, that's why we're playing this game, because we know what we're doing. We're smart enough to know. Anyways, and of course, after you talk to Carrera in your office, when you leave the building, you're going to run into Megan Reed's mom. And that is going to be another side quest you can accept. You can decline it too, but I accept it. Because what's nice is that you can activate or deactivate the, any of the quests in the objectives, which is nice. Because what I do is, is I only activate the one that I'm actually working on, which would be the side quest. I think it's called Lesser Evils or something like that. That way it doesn't clog up my map with all these, <laughs> all these destinations, you know, and I don't get confused. I can figure out where to go. So I don't know if it makes a difference on what you choose, on how you tell them what, what's going on, but I just pick some or whatever. Oh shit, your mouth about that. That's in the past. I am ready. Shut up. Sanders group? You're sure he was augmented? I pulled his cables out myself. Yeah, well, the police are saying he's not. Yeah, well, I don't trust those police. <laughs> As a matter of fact, when I left the building to go to the helipad to leave after I let Zeke Sanders go and I talked to Thorpe and everything, one of the officers outside near the helipad, because I, I talked to all the officers and everything, some of them were supportive of my decision. Well, and some of them weren't. This is on my private playthrough. 
because <laughs> I had to save the hostages, and they were, but I still let Zeke Sanders go so I get the maximum XP. One of the officers got smart with me and said, well, why don't you get the hell out of here or something like that and do your job? And I was only joking around saying, you know, I was like, shit, your mouth punch you in the face. And I, I hit the circle button and I didn't know it was going to do anything. I actually knocked him out. And so, of course, all the officers around me shot my ass down. But then <clears throat> when I went to the save point, you know, I, re I reloaded. And I left the building, and I talked to that same officer. He did not have an attitude or anything, so I was I, I laughed about that. That was funny. So I <clears throat> I didn't know that you could actually take down friendlies like that, you know. But apparently you can, so you can take down anybody you want at any time. Of course, if you do that, and there's a lot of officers around, or well, pretty much any anybody around, if you if you hit that you. If you take out friendlies or whatever, you'll probably end up getting shot or shot at. You might be able to protect yourself or whatever, but... <laughs> okay, so after we talk to her, then we're going to go to our office because we're going to get paged. And we'll be able to talk to Carrera. Get that side quest started. And then we will head towards the apartment where we need to be. Okay. Hopefully, I had to re-record this because it froze up and it took my commentary out and I was pissed. I thought it would be fine, but it wasn't. Now, in order for us to get in this apartment, you're going to go to this gate and I'll kind of show you where it's at. You have to have at least a level 2 hacking, so if you want to do the side quest, you better level it up. And you should have at least one point to spend, I would imagine, by now. And if not, you know, keep on trying to go to any events that you see and everything. And that'll give you experience and, you know, just try to... Well, of course, you're going to... You should be doing... After you talk to him... Uh, well, actually, I... Th no, you have to do the, the... Go through... Search all the computers and stuff like that and go all the different rooms that it tells you for each email... Once you get that done, that's when you go to talk to Seraph, and then when you come back down, that's when... Because, see, it won't trigger until you actually go to all those rooms and everything. So. Or actually, it might. <clears throat> it might. You might still be able to talk to him and still... I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I already did the paper chase type thing first, and then I went ahead and talked to him. When I, I did it in that order, so... But anyways, yeah, you have to level up your hacking ability to, to level two. So, and you may, well, you should have some worm software. If you haven't used it yet, hopefully you haven't used it. You may, you may need it for that gate. Okay. I used two of them and I kept getting, I kept getting discovered and I'm like, God damn it. Finally, I reloaded the, the save because it was right there and everything. <laughs> okay. And then here it. It let me, you know, because I, I won't use it until I know it's starting to detect me because, you know, that's when you want to use it. So here it, it didn't even detect me at all. It, you know, I had plenty of time. I'm like, oh, well, I'm glad that I reloaded this save point so I didn't waste any of the worm software. But if you need to use it, use it. Okay, so you want to go right near this gas station and you want to go around the back and you're going to see, you know, just take a look at your map and... Eventually, you'll find it. Get through the gate, and if you look that way towards the right, over where that concrete uh, barrier is, go over there. There's some credit, and there's also a power bar. I couldn't pick up the power bar because I didn't have enough room. Eh. But anyways, come into the here and hack this door. This is only a level one. Now, I noticed when you go into the, the apartments and everything like that, the higher up floors that you go to the higher the security if you go to level two i mean if you go to floor two is level two if you go to floor three it's level three yeah it's really weird but unless it's part of the part of a quest then usually they don't put it at higher levels because you know they want you to be able to do it and i was like wow this is not detected i'm gonna do all these now it started but i got plenty of time so i was able to get an extra 100 XP because I unlocked all the nodes. So that's cool. 
So, you're going to come in here, you're going to go through this room. There's this computer. I, of course, want to be moving some boxes and not finding anything. But there is an ebook right here, so definitely pick that up for some XP. All right. Yeah. And then you want to go, you want to open this door. There's nothing in here, but you're going to want to run in here real quick because there's going to be a guy that's going to try to ambush you. And yes, don't forget to check both both sides of the desk because there's drawers. Because, because see, if you, as soon as you start reading the second email, you better exit out of there because somebody's going to come in the door. And now he, luckily, he he didn't see me, so I wait here and I wait around until he walks away, and then you can go ahead and you know, you can sneak up behind him. Now he discovers me because I waited too long, but I was still able to knock him out before he could even t pull off a shot. So I knock him out. I search him for the goods. And then we go meet Tyndall, who's not too far from here. You'll find him. So we're going to ask him ask for the security footage. He's going to give us an ultimatum. If we take care of these two goons that are by the basketball court or in at the basketball court, if we take them out, you could either kill them or you could just take them out. Um, then uh, he'll give us the security footage. Okay, and then we can complete the quest by seeing Carrera again. But... See, I didn't have enough energy to take them to take them out with just you know to put them to sleep. <laughs> so I shot one and took out the other. Could have just shot both, but it was just quicker for me to just take them out, take the other one out by knocking them out. But because I shot him in the head, that alerted the people around me, so I had to kill everybody <laughs> because they pulled their guns out. If I would have just took them out, knocked them out, nobody would I would have been you know nobody would have realized what happened. But First, we're going to pick up this basketball. If you go by this concrete barrier, and if you aim it just right, and you shoot, you can make it and pick up the trophy balls, okay? That took me quite a few tries, all right? But I was able to do it. I guess something easier, if you aim it, if you stand right under it, and you aim it just like a little bit of a different angle, and you shoot it up in the air, it might land through. I tried that, but... This way, I found it easier for some reason, but it's up to, up to you. you now, he's going to give us a weapon mod, and I couldn't... At first, I couldn't pick it up because I didn't have the room, so what I did was I dropped my Trank gun, picked up the weapon mod, modded one of my weapons, then I re-picked up the Trank gun. That way, I'm able to keep it because I don't know if I need that Tranquilizer gun later on in the game. So, But we are coming to the end of this video. We'll be back in the next video of Deus Ex Human Revolution Part 5. And we're going to get on with the main quest, and we're going to do some side quests. And, you know, we're going to switch back and forth. So until then, this is Scyther4077 saying take care and cheers so long. Rate, comment, subscribe, suggest. Most importantly, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next vid. Oh, and we get a trophy here as well. Uh, I think it's called Lesser Evils or something like that. Lesser Evil. All right, there you go. Bye-bye.